guys, it's Jesse. Welcome back to Mount Prevail Knife Shop. Got a daylight video for a change day. I got some knives ready to shape. So all the gluing up and all the handle video stuff is over with. Before the video started, I took the liberty of just uh, cutting the uh, wild ends of the pins off. With the bandsaw. And I just flattened the sides just a little bit on the grinder. Then, as you can see, I put the well, a small wheel attachment on, and uh, just went ahead and got the all the hanging over material, just ground it back to the blade. So they're cleaned up and ready to be shaped. And I'm gonna go ahead and start with this one. Made me a few like, layout lines on it. I don't know if I'll follow them or not. I'm usually not real good at following lines, but. Yeah. Okay, got this the basic profile that I like on a Coke bottle shape. Roughed out. 
And now I'm going to really bring it to life. Hang in there. Yeah. Hang in there. Tyler will spin you up a good, uh, what's it called? Spin you up a good time lapse here. Alrighty. Some, some blue what? Blue grass, honey. What you doing there, Jesse? I'm gonna take this uh, flat platen up and just grind with the slack part. Mm -hmm. Uh, I mean, yes and no. Oh. <laughs> we don't got to. I mean, I'm recording. These are the best things that I've ever used right here. These things, uh, where they got that uh, edge like that, <clears throat> they want when you when you're contouring handles. They'll they'll curve with the blade and not dig in.
I need to hit the spine to get back to 600 grit. Got all the lines going the same way on it. So let's go ahead and peel her out and see what it looks like. And I'll probably go ahead and carry that 600 grit all the way out the all the way out the spine. I called that the spine. I meant to tang her a minute ago. She is, boys. Got a little cleanup to do on the blade. Probably a slight bit of epoxy right there. You know, well, I don't think that's epoxy. I guess that was just dust under the edge of the tape. I can feel a little bit of epoxy in that corner. But you can see it come out pretty good. Got that 80 CRV too. Just slightly above the handle stop like I wanted it. Looks like it's setting good and good and square to the handle. And ever since I heat treated and surface ground these things, I never uh, <clears throat> I never really worried about cleaning that the the top of the spine of the knife just because you know I knew that I was going to have to get the tang when I put the handle on it so I'll carefully right now just go ahead and carry them clean lines right on out it hopefully I'll not cut a finger off and Might have to go ahead and drop a drop a grid a time or two. I about forgot about the underside here. Let me show you what I'm doing real quick. See, I shaped the handle. See right there, that little rough place where it was taped up? I've got to carefully bring it right up to the edge. Getting a power stance here.
you gotta try to hold this thing. This is square. Square as possible. Not yeah, not cut yourself. Got one little place here right on top of that handle. See yeah, and there it's round. And up there it's got a little bit of a point on it. I'll try to dress that up real quick. Well without touching anything else I don't want. Know what I mean? That's pretty good. Yes. Excuse me. Yeah, I can, but uh, I'm gonna go clean it up a little bit. Yeah, looks pretty good, don't it? Feels good, man. I love the palm swell in the middle. I love how it gets narrow right at the end of the handle, man. Pommel there. It just feels so good in your hand. I like it. I like it. Yeah. I'm sanding this thing a little bit. I'm hitting it with a little 800 grit. Let's round off a couple corners. That G10 gets a little sharp. These corners where it, roll, where it rolls up to the top of the spine there. Um, this is the same uh, little chamfer bit that I used to uh, chamfer the holes in the in the tank when I drilled them. Go check out that video. Go check out that video. <laughs> what I'm going to do now is chamfer the edges of the lanyard tube so they're not sharp and they won't cut your string or whatever you put through it. If you can tell or not, there's the one I didn't do. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And after I chamfered that, that just, yep. Big difference. just knocks that sharp edge off of it. Quality. Quality, honey. Quality control. What grit you got now, Jesse? I got some 1500. Beautiful grain. Mm, this baby here's gonna be pretty, man. I'm real happy with it.
Hit her with a little bit of 10,000 action here. They make a knife fast, and I really need one. I swear, about the time you get done this, we can sell that on a Walmart shelf in a clam pack. Yeah. Right there beside the Gerbers. Right there beside the Gerbers. Bear Grylls would be proud. Bear Grylls would hurt himself this son again. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> and accurate. Band-Aid dispenser. Or Band-Aid dispenser. <laughs> that worked real good. Mm. What are we doing now, Jesse? I'm going to hit this blade a little bit. I'm going to hit it with a little 1K here. Some slick em. A little slick em action on there. Just get, her, just get her all kinds of fired up. Like I said, we've done did this once. But after the gluing process and that tape being on here and get all red too off. Yeah, it just it just brings her back to the front. Don't take a lot. It's pretty daggone clean now. And uh, where I sanded the top, sanding the sides back a little bit, that brings that 90 degree spine, that sharp point back right there. Like a, I like to keep the spine at a good sharp 90 degree angle to, so that they strike a ferro rod like most people want them to. Like a good bear real bite. Like a good Bear Grylls special. <laughs> and start, start tabbing. A lot of people, or a lot of other knife makers, really fuss about hand sanding. And it does suck if you got a whole bunch to do. Like, if you got a couple of days worth of this to do. But you're getting, like, to the end of the process here. On these knives that you're putting so much time in, it's kind of a satisfying little thing for me, really. Yeah, no doubt. I like it. Been dying to do this for the last little bit. There she is. Quality work camp, man. I'm pretty happy with it. Yeah. Be happy with it, man. Cool thing is, there's four more to go. <laughs> Be real happy when we get done. Let's see how it's laid out. Spalt of maple. Stabilized spalt of maple. That is some pretty stuff. This taking her up to the next level here a little bit. Fifteen hundred. Yep, fifteen hundred, and I'll I'll hit her a little bit with some two thousand just quickly. <clears throat> I'm 
I'm not trying to get a full mirror polish. Well, I, I like per that. Yeah, I, I prefer the satin finish, you know what I mean? Because mm -hmm. there's no reason in the world to uh, mirror polish these things. Cause, I mean, unless somebody just wanted it that way because, it's you know, it's a knife to use. This is a working blade. I ain't, you know what I mean? It's not really a, although I want them to look awesome. Right. They're not, I'm not making them just to be looked at. But you can buy one to look at if that's what somebody wants to do. If that's what tickles you fancy, man, you just look at it. Oh, you won't. <laughs> Price don't change for whatever you're going to do with it. Now for a little 2K action. Slick them in your way? Yeah. I'm just trying to semi hone this thing a little bit. It was plenty sharp before, <clears throat> but there might have been like a slight microscopic burr on the edge in this here. This is just a little 1200 grit pad. I'm just very lightly hitting each side a few times. And whatever burr was left in the grinder, that'll bring it on off. Well, you, oh, you took the charger off. That's about it, man. Give me a piece of paper right there behind you. Does that work? It worked. She'll cut. I'll do. All right, guys. That's going to wrap her up here for this one. Um, man, I'm so glad that after uh, I don't know, we're a couple we're a couple of videos ahead filming wise here, so this will probably be uh, like 13 or something. I don't know. I don't know. Don't whatever part it is. I'm glad we're, I'm glad to, can actually show you a finished knife here now. So thanks for watching this whole series. But just keep watching, it ain't over, because we're going to, uh, we'll make some leather sheets for these things. This is the first one of the five I've finished. The other four are still laying down there in the bottom of the shop, and uh, I'll be working on them. We probably won't film the whole process of them, but I uh, wanted to bring you along for this one. I'll be working on the rest of them this week, and here in a, couple of days we'll I'll start to whenever I start back in on leather we'll start videoing again so thanks for watching give us a thumbs up subscribe to the channel you had to like this video you had to like this video. if you didn't like none of them like this one this is the <laughs> this is my favorite shaping handles is my favorite part I think of the whole thing I enjoy it it's it's where all the time and effort and all the materials that just look like a big old turd through the whole process finally become something cool and useful on a, a tool that'll last a lifetime. So anyway, guys, catch you on the next one. Until then, keep them sharp.